Hello everyone, welcome to Discover English Academy video. My name is Yalda and I'm the founder of Discover English Academy Language School. Today I want to teach you um, the difference between speak and talk. They are very similar, right? So very similar in meaning. So, so you, I cannot tell just like, um, you cannot tell the difference much, right? So you can use them instead of each other. So the past tense of speak is spoke and the past participle is spoken but the past tense of talk is talked this is irregular this is regular right so you just add ed and it's talked so you have ed at the end and because k is unvoiced then so you will have so you can hear the sound of t not d right talked this is the past tense of talk okay and speak, you use it in more formal situation. For example, so whenever you're in a formal presentation or just in, um, so someone wants to just like talk about something serious and important, we usually use the verb speak. But if the setting is informal and uh, for example, you're talking to your friend and uh, or probably you don't know the person, but the conversation is informal, so you can use the verb talk okay so you talk to someone and tell you usually use it whenever you want to give some information or so you want to tell the truth right so you have to use the verb tell so let me tell you what's the past tense of tell so of course this um, this one is irregular verb too and the past tense is told we use the verb speak whenever you want to talk about um, languages. You have to say, I speak Spanish, I speak English. You never say, I talk Spanish. This is wrong, okay? So you have to say, I speak English. So you see just like the differences in just like this one is irregular verb, this one is regular. You use this in formal situation, this one in formal situation, and the past tense is different, right? So this one, the past tense is spoke, the past participle is spoken, but this one is talked for past and past participle. And the pronunciation, don't forget. So you have to say t, not d, right? Talked, because k is unvoiced. I hope you know so what's the difference between voice and unvoice so I have another video so you can go back and watch uh, what's the difference between voice and unvoice letters I hope you enjoyed this lesson and you learned the difference between these three verbs and see you in the next lesson thank you bye